Hello guys, welcome to online your tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced coordinator for tutorials. This is our part number 13. Inside this video, we will discuss the concept that is how to use route group concept inside coordinator for application. In the last videos, we had seen the concept of database seeding. So to understand this topic, also we have an article over this blogging website. So if I back to browser, go here, click on articles, code igniter 4 or simply click on this search icon and if I type called route group, she will see here we have an article inside code igniter 4. But before using the concept of code igniter 4 concept means route group inside code igniter 4, we need to understand that actually what is a route group and where we can use this concept. So simply let's say that we have an application and inside that application we have few panels. Suppose we have like let's say we are uh, we have an e-commerce website and inside that e-commerce website we have a seller panel we have a customer panel as well as we'll have an admin panel so all those three sections we have three separate controllers as admin controller seller controller as well as customer controller and all those controllers have their own different different methods also those methods will points to different different routes so we can create a group of routes using a similar route parameters let's say that for admin panel for admin panel we have routes as admin and let's say add member next inside inside our admin controller we have another method let's say admin list member so same as we have for the customer panel here we have customer panel and the route as customer let's say list customers also let's say customer add hyphen card next if we say all about seller panel so inside seller panel we will have the routes as seller let's say add product also let's say seller add category so all these three sections of an e-commerce website inside code igniter 4 we have separate controller separate methods and separate set of routes so all these routes of a group here we can see this is for admin group customer group seller group we can say that it's a route group we can use this concept in a different way as a normal route let's say that to understand this concept let's say we have a device controller inside device controller we have few methods and few routes which is associated with device section only if i back to terminal let's create a controller first php spark make controller and we will create device let's pass suffix as a flag which means that we are going to create a device controller so this is the file what we have created and is stored inside this controllers folder if i back to folder structure go and reload app controllers and here we have our device controller so currently we have this index method let's say that if i will pass a static message inside h1 tag welcome to device controller if i will copy this index method go and create one more method let's say services or simply let's say list devices welcome to list devices page list devices page if i will copy we will create one more method this is for let's say add device welcome to add device page if i will copy this method put one more time 
let's say that this is a deed device welcome to a deed device page we can see inside this device controller we have few methods as index list devices add device add the device these all methods basically associated with this device controller now next we need to create few routes which is going to point towards these methods so i will open routes.php go inside config folder inside this config folder we should see routes.php so here we have a default route so i will add let's say route means routes using git method if i will write let's say device and this device this route will use device controller and index method now next if i will copy put here here we have list devices so if i will write device list hyphen device and this route actually calls device controller and list devices method again if i will copy paste two more times next is for add device so let's say add device this will point to this add device method next we have add the device so if i will copy this method name add it hyphen device and this is calling add the device method of this device controller so here we have all the routes which is associated with the device controller so if i go and start development server so php spark serve press enter go and reload this page now if i simply type device it will call the index method of device controller as we can see here device which is calling index method of device controller now next if i will copy list hyphen device list hyphen device it is calling list device page if i will call device add hyphen device it is calling add device page now here all we have implemented the routes of device controller using normal routes concept here we didn't use the concept of route group but as we know that currently inside this setup we have only this device controller so that's why we have only these methods but think about a situation we will have admin controller customer panel seller panel and menu controllers so when we route thousands of route inside this routes.php it is too lengthy and it will not be easy to understand that which route actually calling which controller and one more thing we can see that again and again we are writing this device prefix inside these routes so also by using the concept of route group we can overcome this situation we can make a group of this device which is as a prefix and this device prefix will call device controller simply we are going to create a route group of this device so what we will do simply if i will make comment of these lines let's create a route group so routes group method and inside this we will pass device in the second we will pass the callback function and inside this function we will pass routes as a variable so by putting this routes it's an object and by the help of this object we will call all these routes methods so if i will copy go here pasting it here let's say that i will uncomment all these lines now this time as we have created a device group so we don't need actually device each time with each of these routes so i remove that remove this device from here device from here device from here and instead of blank i will put a forward slash so we have simply created our device group 
when we call this device only it means this route will be called and it will call index method or device controller next if we call device forward slash list device then automatically it will pick device forward slash list hyphen device if you save all these changes go and reload as we can see that it is working remove this route welcome to device controller edit hyphen device welcome to edit device page so this is our best practice to use a route group when we have multiple panels multiple controllers to separate our routes in a very better way so that if our application is too much complex then it will be easy to understand all about our routes configuration so to get the complete concept of route group you will find several details inside this code igniter 4 route group tutorial article in the next video we will discuss a concept that is name spacing inside controllers as well as how to use the name space routes inside our application so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day